I, I mean, I think what's so clear is that we went to the moon and Buzz went to the moon as a product of, of national competition, a Cold War race. What we're really looking at now is what we do next, we can do differently. We can make different those decisions, we can plan to work together and then we can make a strategy which is longer term because Apollo ended that, that race and, and no one quite knew what to do next. Here we have to decide what we can do next. But now we're talking about international space races rather than a movie. Emilia Costantini. Emilia. Io vorrei fare, vorrei fare due domande. Una, mh, tornare proprio al film, visto che la prima risposta che Aldrin ha dato, mh, che la ricostruzione fatta nel film non era, secondo lui, fedele appunto ai fatti realmente avvenuti. Eh, per cui io vorrei una risposta, cioè capire perché lui non si è ritrovato in questa narrazione, in questo film. Um, e poi volevo fargli una domanda di altra natura, cioè se lui è convinto che ci sia la vita anche su altri pianeti, se sia con la sua esperienza, la sua conoscenza di esploratore, se ha avuto, come dire, se ha questa certezza oppure non, non ce l'ha. Uh, i don't think anyone else does either, uh, unless they're already from some other place and are covering it up. Uh, in, in which case there are a lot of gullible people who might go along with them. Um, uh, I have a very fascinating detailed account of what I believe uh, was pertinent to the event uh, 40 years ago in a detailed book called Magnificent Desolation. Hopefully it'll get ma made into a movie and then you may see or you may read in there a little bit more of what I feel. Now there have been other movies from the earth to the moon that, that took the writings of other people who interviewed a lot of people and they probably were biased toward uh, fanning the embers of anything that looked like a weakness on one person's part, an overbearingness on somebody's part. Uh, and and uh, uh, my father did never picket the White House. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> If, if he was, if he felt that angry about a stamp that that didn't say Armstrong and Aldrin, it said first man on the moon. All right? Well, there were two people on the moon, not one. Okay, should should I just say wonderful? One man went to the moon. That's wonderful. Let's celebrate all of that. Let's have a stamp for that. Was it Lewis? Or was it Clark who did something first? We landed that spacecraft as a team. We landed that. That was the most important thing to do. I'd been outside the spacecraft before. The first really successful spacewalk in Gemini 12. But it was not the symbolic pleasure of the American people and of the media to have a junior person go outside first, even though that was always the way it was done in, in uh, spacewalks and even Apollo 9. The commander was inside and the lunar module pilot went outside through the hatch and came back in through the other spacecraft. Nobody thinks about those things if uh, if there's a little juicier controversy that can be fanned by somebody trying to point out the pros and cons of the decision one way or another, which clearly had not been made. There were, there were timelines that, that clearly had the lunar module pilot going out first. Do you know that? There were. And there were people who somehow didn't want to make a decision. We call it a hot potato. 
Nobody wants to touch the hot potato. And, and our training is delaying, so we need to get a decision. And I wanted to get a decision on that. But, but just to make sure we've answered the question for the, for the lady, uh, the, I think the question is really uh, also comes back to does the, do you feel this film is, represents how it felt to make that journey? Is, uh, are there things in the film which, which make, it, uh, make it a reasonable and accurate representation of how it happened for you? Uh, until you added the for you. Oh, well, uh, until it happened. It, happen it's a story you. about two guys that, that landed on the moon. And, and to try and, and, and make it specifically applicable to two individuals. No, I, ask, it, I ask about you because it, you're it, the one I'm asking. I, I, <laughs> not because I, I know, you. But, but you ask, does this give people a sense of the feeling? Yes, yeah. it does. For the two actors who played those parts and, and uh, uh, followed the script very, very accurately, uh, a, a very well-written script, but, but it just is not exactly the way uh, uh, I would have written the script. It's, the, it's probably the way some other people might have, but I've, I've been very fortunate in, in uh, as the result of accidents, I've been propelled ahead. As a result of changing crews here and there, I ended up uh, on the backup crew of the first flight that orbited around the moon. That, that wasn't a deserving role for, uh, for a doctor of science from MIT coming into the space program, but that's what I got. I was on that wondrous backup crew that observed the training for the first human beings to, to uh, go to another location and to, to build up in the same orbit that the next mission that went to the moon was in the same orbit that we went into on the third mission. They all laid the, the, the foundation one after another. And because of being on the backup crew, it was uh, logical to be put uh, on the third mission from them because we had uh, crews for Apollo 9 and Apollo 10 already selected. So things just fell into place. Now, uh, for, for very competitive people, does that sometimes uh, make somebody a little jealous, perhaps, of, of a person that might get... Uh, the cards coming his way, might get a couple of aces uh, uh, on the deal. I, th I think we're dealing with human beings that have feelings, and they have feelings of uh, desire to, to perform, to, to not make a mistake that we have to live with for the rest of